if uh, we have a time then i will open cc application and i can guide you walk you through the application as well okay. yeah i got that uh, link thanks assistant mm. that that guy had posted a feed on that one through that i had find uh, some introduction and uh, yeah it's doable but uh, mm. very easy one of the easiest framework in uh, nowadays this is the one okay compared to the selenium and other uh, thing i find it is an easy this this one is very easy okay yeah that i will look into later okay so you can see my excel right okay okay let's get started okay so for uh, claim center uh, you know let's have interactive session uh, why do we use a claims and when do we use a claims whenever um, the insured is uh, something happens then they might hmm. yeah ask for something okay yeah correct uh, vasishta yeah uh to get uh, the payment for the loss occurs okay so to cover the uh, to cover the loss occurs. yeah to cover the uh, if any losses uh, for either property or the auto any covered object right mm -hmm. yeah uh, so basically uh, claims uh, are used to recover the uh, losses on any object okay so here what is the object and what are the losses because there are two things claims are used to recover to recover the losses happened losses on the objects so what can be the objects here so objects i mean if you uh, remember about the policy center i have explained the covered object right so covered objects are different for every lob so for personal auto the covered the main covered objects are a driver and a vehicle so these two are the main particular uh, entities which covers as a part of the personal auto lob when it is coming to homeowners it is a property right so any these are the objects if any loss happened to these and what kind of the losses okay these losses are depends on the coverages basically okay so let's say example for homeowners in case earthquake coverage is selected was selected to the policy okay then insured person can open can raise a claim against the lost i mean against the uh, damaged property whatever is lost so when insured person can open a claim if this earthquake is selected if any loss happened due to earthquake example okay there is a property and uh, the property has a insurance and due to earthquake the property got damaged now insured person can open a claim only if this earthquake coverage is selected if earthquake is is not available in the policy is it possible to raise a claim no because earthquake itself is not selected to the policy yeah so first of all it is uh, important whether the losses are covered as a part of the policy or not the losses are available in the policy or not if the losses itself is not available uh, in the policy if the if the losses are not selected in the policy a claim cannot be open a claim cannot be selected a claim cannot be raised at all okay the basic thing is the loss should cover in the policy any kind of loss either it is a subrogation or salvage or any earthquake or any fire accident or any medical payments okay any or collision or comprehensive or any rental or any damage if these are available as a part of the policy then if something damaged due to this then a claim can open got it if these are not available a claim cannot be open yeah now 
So these are the losses and these are the objects. First of all, we just need to try to understand what are the uh, you know link between the objects and the losses. Yeah. Now, let's talk about the roles in the claim center. Like in policy center, if you remember, we have a roles like producer is one of the role, mm -hmm. and we discussed about uh, underwriter. And in underwriter, we have underwriter supervisor and underwriter manager. Okay, and also we have an auditor, one more. So only these uh, roles are sufficient to create a policy or any risk identified. So that will be taken care by underwriter or in case any audit, auditor will take care of it from the workers compensation and general liability. So audit will happen only for workers compensation and general liability, not for other LOPs. Okay, now coming to the claim center, what are the rules? Can you give a try? Let's think a real time scenario. Like, you know, if uh, we have a property, property insurance, okay, and something got damaged, any furniture got damaged, okay. And if your policy says, if your policy covers this furniture as well, okay. Now, what you are going to do to open a claim? Uh, inform okay. to the insurance uh, company. Good. First, we make a call to insurer, right? And from the insurer, who picks up the call? Agent. Insurance. Agent. Um, call center people. Okay, call center people. Okay. Yeah, good. Basically, in claim center, right? So there is no concept of the agent. In policy center, in case insured insured person has any questions or any related to the policy, producer or agent helps. Right? So agent job only till the issuance of the policy or any modifications to be done on over the policy or any renewals or any cancellations, only these transactions will be performed by the producer. In case any loss happened, producer will not take care of those headaches or those responsibilities. Okay, so that will be taken care by call center people. But in our guide terminology, we call it as a CSR, customer service representative. So this is a first role. The roles in the claim center is customer service representative. Okay, Be what they does? Basically customer service representative, we usually call it as a CSR. They open a claim. Insured person contact an insurer and from the insurer, one associated CSR person will pick a call and this person will open a claim on top of the policy, whether the policy should be enforced. If the policy is cancelled, of course, it is not possible to open a claim. So the first role is customer service representative who can open a claim. Remember. Here, yeah? once this claim is opened. To handle the claim, CSR person will not perform anything. CSR's job is only to create a claim or open a claim. Yeah, in case any payments or whether the claim is uh, required any investigations or the any additional review is required towards the payments or uh, any fraud, whether the claim is a fraudulent claim or any additional investigations or some other person or involved kind of a subrogation. So all these things will be reviewed by another role which is called as an adjuster. Okay, the another role in the claim center is a adjuster. So adjuster is a main point of contact for insu insured person. In the policy center, the way producer acts with the insured person in the similar in the similar way. In claim center, insured person always interact with the adjuster in case uh, you know till the claim is closed. Any related uh, you know, queries or clarifications or anything, 
only adjuster is the person who can help the 